Hi guys, hope you're fine and doing well. So today we will be discussing this problem from the Lead Code Weekly Contest 288, which is largest number after digit swaps by parity. So this is a pretty much easy problem, and the question wants to say that we are given a positive integer num, and we have to swap any two digits of the num, and the condition is that the parity should parity should be same, and what we mean by parity is that either both the integers should be odd or both the integers should be even and then we have to return the maximum possible num after any number of swaps so let's have a look at the example so firstly like i have considered one two three four five is the integer that we are given and let me change the color yes and the the digits that i have marked with pink are odd and the digits that I have marked with blue are even. So what all are the potential operations that can be done? So firstly, I'll be doing operations on these pink, basically the odd elements. So let's try to do them. So uh, we can swap one and three. So the new digits will look something like three and one. It will become three and one. And after that, I can even swap one and five. So the new digits will become like five and one. I can again swap three and five. Three and this will become to one. So now let's perform these operations on the even integers. So what we can do is we have just only single way wherein we can just change it to 4 and 2 so these are the ones that these all are the operations that can be done and after that this will come out to be the maximum maximum largest integer that is possible so if we clearly see from the observation that it is nothing but it is just the sorting of odd numbers and even numbers Right, so let's try to look what we need to code. So firstly, I have created, I have just counted uh, the total number of digits that are in this number. And then I have created an array. And then I have inserted all the digits in this array, A. And what I have done is, now every time I have, uh, I have applied two for loops so that I have two indices. Namely, for example, like this index and this index. And then what I will check is if a of j is greater than a of i. And a of j is basically one next index to i. So I will check firstly that if this is the case. So if that is the case, then I will check whether these uh, these two indices, basically the values on these two indices are either both positive, uh, both even or both odd. So here I have checked for even and here I have checked for odd. And in case these both values are even, then I will swap these values. And similarly, if these both values are odd, then also I will swap these values. And I have also created a function which returns basically uh, since the all the elements are in the form of an array. So this will change it to integer. So that is what this function does. And then I will simply return this function and pass the array after all the sorting operations have been done. So let's see if this code is right. Yes, the code is accepted. So I hope you understood the solution. And if you appreciate my work, you can consider subscribing to my channel and give thumbs up to this video. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye.